Pretty Plant Fam! Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jacqueline. This is my jungle, and today I wanted to talk to you about mealybugs. So, if you love Hoya as much as I do, and you have as many Hoya as I do, then you probably have experienced their affinity to mealybugs. Mealybugs love these waxy, juicy leaves. Hoyas are known, they're called wax plants for a reason. They're known for their thick, juicy leaves that the mealybugs love to just suck the life out of. And for some reason, as soon as I turn my head and don't stay on top of it for like a week, there's just more and more and more and I can't seem to keep up so I am going to take you through my mealybug routine today I did recently just legitimately clean every single one of my baby Hoyas like with a little q-tip and some soap so they're okay over there I have some larger plants here that are like literally just harboring all of them do you see them all that white nasty 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 they don't do as much damage as other pests but if you let them get out of control they absolutely will damage your plants so these look like actual mealybugs as opposed to what I was showing you here when you just kind of see this white fuzz those are their eggs so you definitely definitely want to get rid of those so I'm just gonna go through my usual routine with you guys on this one and a couple of other Hoyas that I've been seeing them pop up on like way too much and I hope that you find it helpful. So the first thing that you're gonna want is a spray bottle. So any simple spray bottle will do. They sell these at most garden centers and nurseries. They have them at Home Depot and everything too. So really easy to get spray bottle. Next, and arguably the most important thing that you want to get is pure Castile soap. I have the Dr. Bronner's, I think this is the peppermint, the tea tree soap works really well as well. Um, I guess there's something about like the mintiness of it that they don't like that also helps take them out. I don't really know, but it doesn't hurt. And what will hurt is if you just use regular dish soap. So. I learned this the hard way that not every plant likes dish soap. It has lots of other chemicals and ingredients in it that can actually burn your plants, especially succulents and like really soft leaved plants. So most Hoyas can handle it and that's totally fine, but I do recommend picking up some pure Castile soap. There's a few other brands. It doesn't have to be this one. Dr. Woods is really good as well. Just make sure that it is pure Castile soap. I will have all of this listed in the description box. I always have everything listed in the description box under pest control and what I use for that. So I'll have this linked to Amazon for you guys. Not expensive, a little goes a long way. And then the last thing that you can use, but you don't have to, it's really bright, I'm sorry is neem oil and it's dirty <laughs> don't always use this just because then i feel like i have to wipe down every leaf to make sure that i'm getting the neem oil off of it so lately i've honestly just been diluting some soap in some warm water and calling it a day even with like the baby hoyas i literally will just get a q-tip put a little bit of soap on it and just wipe down the leaves with a little bit of soap and water and a q-tip so I am going to show you guys that as well I'm going to spray down the whole plant but I'm also going to go over it with some q-tips to make sure that I'm really getting all the mealybugs off because just spraying it down isn't necessarily always enough it will kill most of them but you want to make sure that you're removing as many as you can as well especially the egg sacs because like they're gonna hatch like a bunch of them and they're so gross when they're little. They're like these little pink nasty things. I don't know, they're much easier to see and kill when they're mature adults. So I'm going to take you guys into the bathroom and give you a little bit of a closer look on how I like physically go about cleaning these leaves. So 
let's go murder some mealybugs. It's oddly satisfying and like equally annoying. It's, it's good, it's good. Okay, so I've got the plants like just separated for now that I'm gonna treat because I don't know, there's so many on this one. I just, I don't even know what, there might be thrips on that one. Like I just don't wanna cross contaminate here. So I am gonna set you guys up somehow. I'll just put you in the tub. I'm literally first gonna go in just with some soap and some Q-tips. I'll get the Q-tip wet. And then I'm just, I just pour out a little bit of soap onto like the side of the tub or the sink. And I dip the Q-tip in the soap, literally. It's just a Q-tip with soap and water on it. And then I like to go in and like really get in there and get those bugs out. Rinse them off. Go in with a little bit more soap and make sure that I'm like really getting in there. I don't know if you guys can see. Really getting in there and like wiping them down. Getting in all the crevasses. Cause they like to hide and they really love new growth. So it's definitely wise to be always checking new growth out. And I just literally put my elbow in all the soap. So that's good. That's great. I yeah, see like eggs and stuff over here. So I want to make sure that I'm going in and like wiping that down. Sometimes it can be really hard to even get in there. I think that's why it's important to try and wipe them up first. If a leaf is like really super infested, I'll just remove it all together. But basically that's what I'm going to keep doing. Going in and looking for places where they're hiding where there might be some stuff that I can easily just like remove by kind of gently wiping with the soap like to rub down the stems and everything. You know, I do that with like pretty much as many as I can find. And then I will go in with my spray bottle. I'm just going through and I'm inspecting and if I see some white stuff. I know those are mealybugs. And I'm gonna go in with my little Q-tip and I'm gonna wipe it. So, nasty. This just helps ensure that I'm actually like really thoroughly cleaning the plant. Yes, it's tedious. Yes, it's super annoying. Yes, it is oddly satisfying. No, it doesn't gross me out. Mealybugs, I'm over them. They, they don't really move around much or do anything. So I will happily take them over many, many, many other pests. So I'm going to keep on at this with the rest of these plants. This one I'm constantly on top of. It's new growth, but I think we might be okay today. I just brought it in here to give it a little check because I do constantly this is also a really good thing to do before treating your plants for anything else so this is really just cleaning the plants yes it's an insecticidal soap it does coat the mealybugs and kill them eventually so that they can no longer feed on your plants but when it comes to aphids and thrips the insecticidal soap even the neem oil isn't gonna be enough to kill them. It might keep them at bay, like it was doing for me for a little while, but eventually they got a little bit out of control and I had to switch to the Captain Jacks. But something that I think helped a great deal was the fact that I had cleaned most of my plants already beforehand. I had wiped a lot of the leaves down because I sprayed them with neem oil. And then I like to use that to clean them, like wipe them down. And then I went in with the Captain Jacks. So I think that makes a big difference. And I think that's what I'm gonna do here today. I'm going to treat and clean a lot of these plants with the soap and then go in with the Captain Jacks just because I'm going on with the Captain Jacks. Like it's gonna be a pretty consistent part of my care routine moving forward when I'm really 
watering a plant, cleaning a plant, like that's just going to be part of cleaning the plant and using it in a preventive way so that I don't lose more of my plants because I'm definitely seeing eggs and larvae on top of some of the leaves and I'm just trying to stay on top of that so that the adults don't get their hands on the mature leaves. So if I'm just stopping them in their life cycle, hopefully they'll go away eventually, which is the same thing with every pest. So same thing with mealybugs. That's why I stress making sure that you're getting rid of those little fuzzy white sacks of eggs because if you're cutting off their life cycle, you're making a huge dent in the amount of bugs that you're gonna have moving forward. So you wanna kill the adults too, obviously, cause they're gonna lay eggs, but you also wanna kill the eggs. You feel me? That is it for this video, you guys. I'm gonna show you some footage of me just spraying them down and whatnot, but I hope that you found this helpful. I have to stay on top of my Hoyas pretty regularly, unfortunately, with the mealybugs. But it's not that serious. It could be worse. And as long as you stay on top of it, they will not damage your plants. They definitely will suck the life out of the new leaves because they're not hardened off yet on Hoyas. Otherwise, they don't really do that much damage. So as long as you stay on top of them and you're making sure that they're not becoming like overpopulated and infesting your Hoya, then you're gonna be fine, I promise. Definitely try the Dr. Bronner's soap if you haven't. It doesn't smell bad either, which is really nice. I feel like most pest management stuff smells really bad. So you get a nice peppermint or tea tree smell and I'm not mad at it. So if you like this video and you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything from me. I am going to be doing another like more comprehensive video on thrips and all the rest of the bugs and how to take care of them. I just kind of wanted to show you this really quickly because I'm here and I'm filming other stuff and I noticed a bunch of mealybugs that I needed to treat so I figured why not film it for you? Might be helpful for someone. So this is mostly water and like two squirts of soap, which is probably like a tablespoon or two for those of you who want, are gonna ask. And then just wanna really fully saturate the plant. I'm gonna make sure that I lift up and spray underneath as well. It's hard to do with one hand. But yeah, that's really it. And then I am gonna go over them again with the Q-tips and make sure that there isn't anything just chilling left behind, so. Okay, so I'm sitting here treating the plants and I'm just remembering that I forgot to tell you that this is something you're gonna wanna leave on the plants for at least a couple of hours if you can because like I said, the soap is going to coat the mealybugs and it kind of suffocates them. So you want to give it time to do that. And if you rinse it right off, you're not really giving it enough time to do that. So I will rinse it off though. You don't want to leave the soap on there. It can kind of clog the pores of the plant and you might actually burn the plant if you put it out into direct sun that still has some soap on it because it reflects the light yada yada especially if you're using neem oil that's why i said you definitely want to wipe the neem oil off of your leaves if you are going to include it into the mixture so hopefully i didn't leave anything else out but i'm just sitting here doing my thing and i'm like hmm, i don't think i mentioned that so i'm gonna go for real this time i appreciate you fam and um see you soon.